Hello, I'm Ivan Protasov from InLab and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple attractor in Rhino without a grasshopper. So first of all, we need to understand how the attractor usually works. Well, in grasshopper it could look like this when we have a grid of objects and uh, some point or curve or an anything which influence them. And in this file, it counts the distance between the attractor point and the circle of each uh, the, the center of each circle and scale these circles uh, depending on this distance. In Rhino it's possible to, to, to make it with uh, surfaces, I mean with the relation between objects and surfaces. Uh, so what we would use for that is the flowland surface command. Uh, first of all we need uh, our array of circles. Uh, so I'm, I choose my circle uh, type array. I will make it uh, 15 in x direction and then 15 in uh, y direction and 1 in z. Uh, this is my unit size. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll group it. It will make it more easier to select then. And actually how uh, the flow and surface command works it uh, translates the objects from, from the base surface to the target one. But what's most important, it keeps the, the relation between objects and the exact location on the surface. So if we would change our target surface, the situation with our circles will be changed as well. Uh, so first, uh, we need to rebuild it. Uh, to have more freedom for transformation, I would make it 8 per 8. That would be enough. Uh, and then uh, when I turn on my control points, it would be probably enough only to play with the weight of it. So I choose the edit control point weight command and just make them a little bit heavier like this or lighter yeah that's it and uh, now we run our flow on surface command flow along surface I select my objects and then I select my base surface and my target surface but first uh, we need to turn off this rigidity my target surface and yes this is it uh, that's it it could be done also in another way uh, with keeping these objects re rigid so uh, we need our array again this is our circle. Array 15, 15, 1 unit space size. That's it. Uh, I'll group it again. I'll choose my base surface, my target one. Then I rebuild it, okay, and then I change the weight of some points. Yeah, like this. Uh, so Flow on surface, base surface, and then I press rigid yes and target surface. That's it. So this is it. Don't forget to subscribe in our channel, find us on Facebook, and thanks for watching.